I'm Rachel Maddow, here for my friends at Houdini.com, and I'm going to tell you how to make the original cocktail. It's an old-fashioned, but I don't want you to get excited about the idea of smushed up fruit in your glass or some sweet confection that only vaguely reminds you of whiskey. This is the old-fashioned, old-fashioned, the original cocktail, the cocktail from before cocktails were called cocktails. So the old-fashioned, old-fashioned doesn't have too many ingredients in it. It's pretty simple. You start with sugar. You want sort of a small-sized sugar cube. Um, and then you're going to add Angostura bitters. You can get Angostura bitters anywhere. You know you're getting the right one because the label doesn't fit on the bottle. It's a long story about that. One, two, three. You want about three dashes of Angostura on top of your sugar cube. You sort of want to soak the sugar cube. Then a little bit of club soda or seltzer water. And I do mean a little bit. You don't want a cocktail full of water. You just want a little tiny bit here. This is essentially just to give you mixability. So you're putting maybe a teaspoon of club soda there. All right, now this is the fun part. This is the impress your guests part. What you're doing is you're mixing together the sugar, the Angostura bitters, and a little bit of club soda or soda water. And you're just making a little syrup. So it's all dissolved together. Thank you, muddler. Well done. All right, now we're getting to the important part. This is the whiskey. Um, I'm using bonded, which means 100 proof rye. You can use either rye or bourbon in this, but you want it to be a whiskey that you really like the flavor of because this is sort of the big deal of the cocktail. There isn't that much more in it. So we're putting in two ounces, in this case, of bonded rye. Don't be as splashy as I am. All right, and we're almost done. All we're going to do now is add a little ice and a very important garnish. So not too much ice. You don't want to overwater the drink. If you have really big ice cubes, big sturdy ice cubes, that's the best with this drink, but any ice will do. And now here's the garnish. It's a little lemon peel. And you want to cut it really thin because you don't want any of that white pith on the back because that's pretty bitter. You want mostly the lemon oil. Get a big, nice, big swath of it like this, and then you just express the lemon oil into the drink. Drop it in. And that is an old-fashioned, old-fashioned. I'm Rachel Maddow for Houdini.com.